today I'm here with a baby shower haul. Um, so on the weekend, Louis and I had our baby queue, which was super, super fun. We had lots of people over just to our house and we had a barbecue. So we barbecued some sausages and got some hot dog buns. Um, so kind of like hot dogs um, with cheese and sauces and then lots of coleslaw. And then we had lots and lots of sweets. Um, I made some rose water cupcakes and some little love heart brown sugar cookies. Um, and we had a carrot cake and a lemon tart and uh, chips and cheese and some really yummy drinks. Um, and yeah, it was just such a super fun night. I'm really glad that lots of people were able to make it. Um, unfortunately, a lot of our friends from overseas <laughs> obviously couldn't make it, but um, they did send us a few gifts, which was really, really sweet of them. Um, so I thought I'd just show you what uh, kind of things we got um, given to us as presents from the baby shower. Um, people were so generous and really, really sweet. Um, they were all very thoughtful gifts, um, so I'll get right into it. So we got this porter chair, which is uh, like a high chair that you can put onto any chair. Uh, so if we go out to a cafe, we like to go out for brunch a lot. Um, so when we go out for brunches, we'll be able to take this little porter chair, um, just in case they don't have a high chair or if baby likes to be at that certain height, um, then it might be quite handy and also for traveling overseas, which we hope we'll be able to do once baby comes. Um, so that's really cool. It can go onto any type of chair at all, which is awesome. My mum got us some really cute cashmere baby clothes. Um, they're French, so she got this little cardigan, which is super cute. It just has uh, little snaps at the side here and a little tie on the inside to do it up and a little matching beanie or little hat which is very cute and then this which is adorable it's a onesie and it's got little tiny bear buttons on it um, and just behind those are little snaps so it's quite a delicate little onesie but it looks super super warm and I'm hoping that she'll fit into it at the kind of end of winter I think that's probably when it will fit her, um, but just, yeah, super cute. Uh, my mum also got me this, which is kind of like a scarf, kind of like a wrap, so I can either wear it myself or we can use it as a swaddle for a baby, um, and that's made from wool, uh, so that's pretty lovely. Um, one of my friends has an online Etsy store and she makes scarves. Um, they're like those infinity scarves that you just plop over your head and they're beautiful. Um, and I saw somewhere on the internet that they that people make uh, kind of infinity scarves for breastfeeding. So they're just uh, a lot heavier and a lot more fabric and, and she made me one which was really cool. I chose the colour <laughs> black <laughs> which is you know I wear a lot of black in Melbourne so it's got these really cool stripy white um, bits on the sides there and there and yeah it should just be a really warm for the middle of winter when I'm trying to breastfeed out in public and uh, provides lots of coverage without being one of those horrible breastfeeding covers that you pop over your head. I can just wear it as a scarf and then kind of maneuver it around to be a bit of a cover, which is really cool. We got this little stripy top, which is, <laughs> we got it because Louie and I always wear stripy t-shirts um, and with little black pants. <laughs> so we got these little black pants to go with a stripy top um, and this is from our friends who are moving overseas so I said alright we're going to Skype you um, and when we Skype you we're all going to be wearing our stripy tops with black pants which they thought was hilarious <laughs> um, and they also got us this little onesie what happens at grandma's stays at grandma's which both of the grandmothers thought was really really good and I was like yeah that's pretty accurate <laughs> So another friend got us these 
little leggings. So that'll be perfect for when she's a little bit bigger and she has her cloth nappy on and then we can just pop these over her legs and some little socks. They're very cute. And we got a couple of little um, baby washers. So we got this which is Gaia. It's an Australian company which I really really like. Um, it's all natural and organic, um, no parabens or sulfates. Uh, this one has, it's a bath and body wash with organic sweet orange, which looks lovely. Mm. Mm, it's just a mild orange scent, so that's really nice. Um, and also a Gaia Skin Soothing Lotion, so it's like a nappy balm. This one has zinc in it, um, so we'll have to be careful if we're using this with our cloth nappies. You're not meant to use zinc with cloth nappies. Um, so yes, we might just be using this with the disposables at first because we're going to be starting off with just some kind of eco-friendly disposables before we get into cloth napping. Um, but yeah, I guess we can use a liner as well with them. But that's a lovely, and I really like Gaia a lot. Um, and we got some Mugu Nappy Balm, which is also a really cool company. Um, this one um, also has zinc in it as well. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll only be able to use that with disposables or with a liner. Um, but it has some really lovely ingredients as well and no nasties. Um, and we also got this, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mus Mustella? Mustella? And it's a foam shampoo for newborns. So it says it washes away flakes associated with cradle cap. Um, so that could come in handy if baby girl has cradle cap. We got this little spoon, which is very cute. It's a French company. Um, and it is just red and black. Just really sweet. This is from my mum as well. It's a Peter Rabbit onesie. And it's just really good quality. It's just really soft, um, really nice and plain colours, which I like. And it's a size double zero, so she'll have to grow into that one. Um, but I really like footed onesies a lot. Um, so that's very cute. And she also gave us this little teddy bear, which is lovely. We don't have a teddy bear for a baby girl, so um, this is just really, really soft. Um, and doesn't have anything that can really pop off, um, like any eyes or buttons or anything. Um, so that's really sweet. So Louie's mum is really good at knitting. Um, so she knitted these lovely, lovely little booties that are in an awesome colour. Um, so they should fit baby when she's quite little. And then she also made these ones, which have like a lamb's, lamb's wool inside, lambskin, and they're so cute. They're a little bit bigger, so they'll fit her when she grows up a bit. Um, I also got this necklace. So this was not a present for baby girl, it's a present for me, pretty much. Um, so it's a really cool red necklace. Um, and it's made out of food grade silicone, has no BPA, no lead, no um, phthalates, no PVC and no cadmium. So it's just a cool necklace that baby girl can chew on when she's teething. So that's what it looks like. It's very similar to the one that I'm wearing, but um, yeah, it's very kind of spongy and uh, yeah, it should be nice for her to, to nibble on when we're cuddling. Another thing for her to chew on is this little deer or fawn. Um, it's called Fan Fan, the fawn. So it's in from the same brand as Sophie the giraffe. Um, but it's just a little, little fawn and it's so cute. It's meant to squeak, I think. But we couldn't really get it to work. Um, but anyway, it's nice for her to chew on, nice and healthy. We were given a couple of books, which is really great. I really love getting books as presents. Um, we're trying to build up her library as much as possible. 
Um, so the first one we got is all the awake animals are almost asleep. And let's take a trip on Animal Airways, which they got us because we like to go overseas and fly a lot. Um, and wear our snuggle pot and cuddle pie, which they got us because we live in quite a foresty tree area. Um, so they're really cute. We got this plastic bib, so it's plastic on both sides. It's a little French brand and it's huge. It's such a huge bib, but that'll be really good for when she starts solids. We'll just need to wipe her down. <laughs> and then this water bottle, which is one of those ones that you can fold up and pop in your bag and just fill it up at any tap anywhere. Um, so that's really handy. It's got a little clip on the side, so we can probably just pop that on the pram when we need to. I got another necklace that's also a teething necklace. So this one is Jellystone Designs and it's a little owl. So I'll just take it out to show you. So it's just a little owl, soft jelly owl that she can chew on. That's nice and safe. We got a couple more books. Um, so this is The Little Blue Box of Bright and Early Board Books by Dr. Seuss. So that has four little books in there. Uh, and also My Very First Library by Eric Carle. So it has My Very First Book of Words, Shapes, Numbers and Colours. And they're really awesome books. We got this blanket from Louis's parents. It's a Winnie the Pooh blanket and it's just super soft and it has kind of this satin edge around the outside. Um, and Louis's mum said that he used to like to chew on a satiny edge of a blanket, so that's why she thought she would get it. Um, but that's really nice, we don't have too many blankets, so that's really handy. We also got this Ergo Cocoon Air, and it's a no-zip air swaddle, and it's made out of bamboo. This is what it looks like, it's got two little clips at the top for her head, and then at the bottom it has a little bit where you can change her nappy really easily. And that's really sweet, it's really stretchy, um, it's for when she is six months old, I think. Yes, it's for when she's six to twelve months old, so that's really cool. So a friend of mine who is also really into cloth nappies got us this rock and green eco-friendly pale freshener. So you pop this into your wet bag that you take with you when you're out and about or just into your uh, nappy pail um, at home and it stops it from smelling as much. She said it just smells really nice. <laughs> um, she also got this awesome wet bag which is huge in the most gorgeous design. It's just so lovely, really girly but not too frou-frou. Um, the little spotty handle, it's from Monkey Foot Designs. Um, so that was very exciting. <laughs> we got this little rattle, which is super cute for when baby's quite little. She'll like to probably play with these bits at the side and listen to it rattle. We also got an assortment of little socks that are really cute. They look like they've got Mary Janes on them and they have little paw prints on the bottom that are uh, non-slip, which is really good because we have floorboards in our house. Every room has floorboards, we don't have any carpet. So it's gonna be a little bit slippery. Um, so they will be very handy, very cute. I just wanted to show you this card that we got from a friend. It's um, a little cat swaddled in a blanket, which I thought was really cute. My mum was teaching us how to swaddle the other day, and I was like, oh, we can practice on our cat Lola. <laughs> uh, but we didn't. Um, so I thought that was really cute. It's um, from AskAliceStationery.com, which is a Melbourne um, company. So it's really cute. I think I might even frame this and pop it up on the wall. We also got this little security monitor which um, has night vision as well uh, so we can just have apps on our computers, our phones and our tablets um, just to watch what's happening in baby's room, see how she's sleeping. Uh, we won't be using it for a couple of months because baby will be in our room, um, although we might use it in there for a while. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cool. 
And then the last thing that we got was from a friend who uh, just travelled to Thailand. She went to Chiang Mai and she got us this really beautiful mobile, which is really sweet. It's just got one little bell on it and elephants and moons and a bird. So I thought that was really thoughtful, really sweet. Um, so lovely that she brought that all the way from Thailand for us. Okay, so that's it for our baby shower haul. Um, as you can see, we got some amazing gifts from our very, very generous friends and family members. I can't believe how much stuff we were given and how spoilt she is. Um, especially as we didn't have like a baby register, we didn't specifically say, you know, this was a party where we knew baby needs gifts or anything. So it was just people being super, super nice. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you all really soon. Okay, bye!